God bless, God bless. So a part of me always knew that I was psychic, okay? And um, given that I'm Hispanic, in my household, what was on TV was Telemundo, Universo. And you have to understand that the Hispanic community is also so deep in witchcraft. And I didn't know, you know, it's normal when you grow up and that's what they put on TV. You think everyone's doing it. It's wrong. In the name of Jesus, it's so wrong. And it's so hard to get this message. This is my second time recording it. Excuse me. (coughs) 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 I'm going to do my best to get this message out. Forgive me. And I remember... You know, obviously everyone wants to know like their zodiac sign and what's about to come onto the TV. And one day the guy with the crystal ball goes on the TV and I could care less at this point. I'm a teenager. None of this stuff ever comes true, you know, especially being a family that was so poverty ridden. Um, you know, the, it's, it's always a lie. Oh, don't worry wealth is about to come your way yada 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 and you have people believing these lies and this is exactly why I was such an advocate for working I wanted nothing to do with it go and get yourself a job go and spend your money appropriately and you have to understand that that these demons that's what they are they're demons and they're vessels for demons lying to people telling them that love was going to come their way right they everything they wanted to hear essentially everything they wanted to hear and one day i remember specifically that i was i don't know i was in the kitchen or kitchen laundry because it was like are you if if you're if you're poor you understand that sometimes you're, you don't have a separate laundry room and it's it's all in one, all right? I don't remember, but I just remember I was doing something. I don't know if I was making a sandwich or if I was doing my laundry, but I remember I looked at the TV and the guy with the crystal ball spread out all the cards and he said whatever he said and I looked at the cards and I was like, that's not what it says. And I turned around like I supernaturally knew. I looked at all the cards and I just knew how to read them. I didn't know. I didn't know how, when, where, why. I just knew that. I'm like what he just said and what those, what the cards he pulled out. That's not what it says. And that was that. This, the, the next time I knew that God was real and that. Well, I, that Jesus was real, but I was not pleased was when my grandmother had a boyfriend and my grandmother is narcissistic as can be. And she's a devoted, 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 devoted Christian, Roman Catholic, doesn't matter if it's Christianity, she's at church. And um, granted, You have to understand that some Christians do some real foul things, okay? And she had this boyfriend. And her and her boyfriend, I don't know, she was arguing with him about the toothpaste. Something about the toothpaste cap. And I was like, this is ridiculous. You know, she there's there's worse things in, in life to argue about. It's not that big of a deal, right? That's narcissism for you. And... All of a sudden, the pastor went into preaching about not knowing us, what happened that morning, nothing. About specifically compromise and how the Lord wants us to be in better spirits. And it's and he used the exact same, he used it as an analogy. Let's say you and your spouse need to share the bathroom and someone leaves the someone leaves the toothpaste tube, you know, open. The other one leaves toothpaste all over, blah blah. And I was like, this evil bitch gets a message from God. And I was so mad because I've seen her do some real foul things. 
I've seen her do some real foul things and I was wondering where is God and if that's what God was going to be then I wanted nothing to do with God I remember that specifically like if that's what God is that this woman who can call CPS and give complaints because someone didn't do what she wanted them to do she's always plotting behind someone's back She's always looking for people to do her favors. She She's controlling. The world revolves around her. The whole family always has to be at her beck and calling. Um, we always have to feel bad for her. You know, it's just like there, there's, it's just pure weakness. There, there's no strength in her. And she, knowing all of this, yes, she's giving. Yes, she's grandma. Yes, she's, but her heart didn't say I'm a Christian. And you mean to tell me that this evil bitch gets a message from God? <laughs> and that's that's when I that's when I was like, if that's God, I want nothing to do with it. I want nothing to do with God. If that's what God is, I want nothing to do with it. And I, little did I know that God was trying to tell me, I'm trying to speak with you. I'm trying to talk with you. They're not going to tell you any of this. They're not going to bring you to my name. They're not going to tell you how to receive the messages. They're not going to tell you how, how, to, how to be in sync with the word of God. Little do they know, they barely even know this stuff. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And then I saw, I, I you know, before that, I did see my angel. I saw Archangel Michael and I saw my guardian angel. And that happened that happened when I was 17. I'm pretty sure that happened when I was about seven, six, 16, 17. I was done. That's when I turned to like, I went full rogue. I went full partying. I went full clubbing. And, you know, the Lord kept me. The Lord kept me. The Lord kept me. The Lord kept me. And I always just had a pure heart. And I just didn't. You know, I would respect when my Russian friends wanted to go to church. Oh, you got church? Go ahead. Go. I'll see you guys later. Oh, do you, want to, do you have church? Yeah, I went with my grandma. But after, they didn't know that that happened. I just I didn't want anyone to know that that's how I felt about God. That I wanted nothing to do with him. And for years and years and years and years, I never called on his name. I never wanted anything to do with him. I just knew that there's no way that I, I had to have a good heart, that I had to do things right, that working and, and being involved was going to get me the results I wanted. Um, I think when I was in college once, I tried to look at a, at a, at a tarot video, and it, it didn't, it didn't work. I tried to, to pay one time for a reading, and I, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe some of it, but none of it was like a hundred percent. And then I just, I went to school. I, you know, I didn't even focus on religion. I just, I just went to school. I worked really hard. And then one day, and then one day, one day I was bored and I was like, you know what, let's just, I, I, I love the, the tarot readers' personalities. It's not even so much about the reading. I just, I just loved, like, their persona, you know, <laughs> their intake on life. And because I knew that I could sometimes read the cards. Sometimes I couldn't, sometimes I could. I, I couldn't explain it. And then one day, the video was on point with every single thing I was doing that struck my attention that struck my attention no 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 no. this can't be this, no 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 and then another video and then another video and that's how i started what what is this there's no way there it, what is this and by that time i had already made prayers to god i didn't know if he was listening or not and then boom god manifested and then boom the holy spirit came the holy spirit came and I, I was still, the Holy Spirit never said, stop. The Holy Spirit never said, don't, don't, 
it never said any of that i had to i had to find out myself just this year so i got the holy spirit in 2020 november 2020 bear with me here 2021 i believe yeah november 2021 and it, it's it's 2023 where where I concretely found out that that's a no. That's just a straight no. It took time. I didn't feel the love of Christ till 2022. I didn't feel his pure love until 2022, but I received the Holy Spirit before all of that. And this this is just to say... I always I kind of always knew I was I was I had this uh this ability. One time someone said basketball coach said you have to envision yourself doing it and then you'll be able to do it. And I took that advice. I, I saw her as someone who was wealthy, well educated, clearly she knew what she was talking about. And if I wanted to be the best, I had to picture myself as the best. And then I would have to just go and get it. And I stuck to it. I see myself as a doctor. Boom, I got the jacket. Boom, I know what to do. I know where to go. And then in college, as the classes started getting harder, I started to notice something. I started to notice that everyone had gifts. Especially when you were up there. Computing a lot of difficult things <laughs> I started to notice that people had some extraordinary gifts and mine was prognosis diagnosis I'm able to, to see and foretell it's a gift how'd you know that I just it's a gift the same way when my friend like hey I need a calculator I need to calculate this no it's, it's this answer you can check me on it what right like that that was their gift my gift was different my gift was able to see certain things happening my my gift was able to see that like if you don't do x y and z it's going to deteriorate i didn't know it was prophecy the gift of prophecy to foretell future events without a deck of cards and everyone was like how'd you know to the point where when i would study with my ex-husband I would say hey um he would he would help me study and he said that's not what Google says that's not the answer and I was like nah here look this this is where the answer is and he was like whoa you're smarter than Google <laughs> sometimes yeah sometimes I knew the answer for certain things and I would have to show him like nah you see they don't they don't know this kind of stuff this is where you get like you know I had to show him the way the archives blah 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 and he's like whoa it was a gift it was a gift it was a gift it was a gift and i always knew i always knew there was like some kind of special ability about me but i just i strayed so far away from god because of how he was trying to communicate with me but he's he's there all right He's with us. That's what that's what he was trying to say. He's with us. And why why'd you have to use that person? Why couldn't you tell me that God was real? Why couldn't you send a different angel? Why could no he to the point where no angel ever came. No angel ever came to say, This is the way you get your messages from God. This is this is the alignment you need to get. The word's gonna sync up. You're gonna get numbers, you're gonna get revelations, you're gonna see you're going to see the signs manifest 111 444 you you're, you're going to be in divine alignment with god and and that's what it's going to be no one ever told me any of that yes people told me no oh, god is real god is real no god's like wi-fi <laughs> uh he's all around us he's present you know there's there's some you know he he'll make a way out of no way he sees all he hears you, uh, but no one ever told me how, how to communicate with him until one day he just, I prayed and my 
The text said it best. He hears the prayers of the fatherless and the widow to piercing the clouds. And my, my, my prayer not only pierced the clouds, it pierced the throne of God. It made it, it made it through the gates of heaven. It made it to his heavenly throne. And then he came down from heaven. And I didn't know, is that you? Is that not you? And then once I knew it was him, there's no other way. There's no other explanation. That was Jesus who came from that, who came himself from his throne. And then the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. And have I led you astray? No. Do you want to keep this power? Yes. You have to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. Yes. And then it went away. And ever since then, he sends a helper. I'm never alone. I understand scripture out of nowhere. Things that happen in my life are all biblical prophecies. To the point where the next biblical prophecy is that your your enemies are going to believe in God because they tried so hard to destroy you. None of their plans worked. There's no other way. I, I put in everything I could. There's no way no one else has ever survived this. I've never worked this hard to destroy someone in my life. How are you still standing? How are you still doing? How are you still smiling? Because of Jesus. How are you not crazy? How 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 are this is this is supposed to they're evil. They're going to come to God because their own wickedness failed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Redeemer, bright angel, morning star, glorious is his name. So I always knew I was gifted. But I just know that I've gone through tremendous suffering. And I'm still going through suffering. But now it's now it's different. But I still suffer. I suffer immensely. But I knew that I was gifted. So I always kind of knew I was psychic. Especially when, when, especially when the cards came out. And I was like, that's not what the cards say. And everyone's glued to the TV. Oh, that's I. I knew. I knew, I knew, I knew. All right. God bless. Bye-bye.